In this mini-clip, we will be discussing significant figures in scientific notation. We will be discussing these topics while we answer this question here. The question reads, add the following and write the solution in scientific notation using the correct number of significant figures. 18 plus 32 decimal 40 plus 6 decimal 10. To begin answering this question, we're going to have to find the sum of these three numbers. We have 18 plus 32 decimal 40 plus 6 decimal 10. We're adding these three numbers together. Adding our columns, we have 0 plus 0, which gives us 0. 4 plus 1 gives us 5. We're going to bring down this decimal. 8 plus 2 plus 6 will give us 16. And 3 plus 1 plus 1 will give us 5. So the sum of our three numbers is 56.50. We need to rewrite this answer using the correct number of significant figures. To determine how many significant figures our final answer will have, we need to look at the number of significant figures found in each of the three numbers that we added together. Now the number that has the least amount of significant figures will determine how many digits our final answer will have. Taking a look at our first number, 18, you'll notice that we have two significant figures. The second number, 32.40, has four significant digits. And our third number, has three significant figures. Out of these three numbers, the one that had the least amount of significant figures was 18. So this is going to determine how many digits we're going to have in our final answer. I just wrote out over here what I just said since it is fairly important. Since 18 has the least amount of significant figures of the three numbers, i.e. 18 has two significant figures, therefore our final answer must have two significant figures. So here we have our answer of 56.50, but we need to round this such that it only has two significant figures. This means we need to round to the nearest whole number. This means that this 6, the 1's column, will be the last place we want in our final answer. Now to round, we need to look at the number to its immediate right, this 5. Because this number is a 5, here's where it gets a little bit tricky when we have to round. Since there's no numbers following the 5, this zero doesn't need to be written here. What we need to do is we need to look at the number preceding this five. In our case, it's the six. If the number preceding the five is even, then you leave the number as is. However, if the number that preceded the five was odd, then you would round up. In our case, to round this answer, looking at the five, we know that the number that precedes it is even. Therefore, we are going to leave this number as it is. Therefore, our solution is 56. And this number is correct to two significant figures, and it is already written in scientific notation.